That's not a normal colored hand. Alexander Hamilton. Here's my normal hand. Here's my broken one. <laughs> okay. I broke. It looks like not normal, right? It's not broken. It's slightly bruised. You bent it back weird where it wasn't supposed to go. Okay. You got to play? Yeah. Washington's inauguration. That means he is becoming the first president of the United States. <sighs> Washington journeyed from his home in Virginia to New York City, the nation's temporary capital. Along the way, crowds cheered for the new president, and church bells pealed in his honor. So he becomes a president. Um, first thing he does is have he makes up some executive departments. So they've got the Department of State, the Department of Treasury. The Department of Defense is what we call it nowadays. They call it the War Department. Lawyers? No, no, the Wait, Department. War? The War Department. Oh, I was thinking like defense, like no. court. No, so yeah. So they got Department of State, Department of Treasury, Department of Defense, and the Eternal Actually... Attorney General. They handle the legal affairs of the government and the Office of Postmaster General to oversee the post offices. Okay, so to head these offices, Washington appointed well-known men who had supported the adoption of the Constitution. Thomas Jefferson um, became the Secretary, Secretary of State. Alexander Hamilton became the uh, Treasury Secretary of Treasury. So he's in charge of the Department of Treasury. Henry, no Henry Knox was the appointed the Secretary of War. Edmund Randolph was the Attorney General. And Samuel Osgood was the Postmaster General. Those are the first people ever in our like nation to become those those people so uh before long these department heads began to meet with the president as a group to discuss matters of administration these meetings soon became known as a cabinet council the cabinet that's a song good song good song a by the time things. washington had left office the presidential cabinet had become an established tradition so that's still something the president has nowadays the cabinet when the president comes in a new president comes in he chooses his cabinet leaders so basically like, if whoever's in charge of the cabinet right now, or in charge of these things,